question 19 question 21 the end term test scores of 100 students were recorded as shown in the following table so there are scores number of students are given them part a state the model class the model class is the class with the highest frequency and that one is uh, look at it is this class the class with the frequency of that two students that is 60 to 69 so that is the model class part b calculate the median score the median score so this is how we get the median so median is given by l plus n over 2 I'll explain what this one means divided by f everything multiplied by i that is the formula we use to get the median of a group data and the first thing you're going to do is to get the position of the median the position of the median position of the median is given by half multiplied by total frequency this is n which is 100 students and so the position of the median is 50 so to get 50 we will need to get the cumulative frequency from this table and this is how we get the cumulative frequency this will help us to identify uh, where 50 is so 8 8 plus 10 this will be 18 18 plus 28 this will give 46 46 plus 32 that will give uh, 78 78 plus 12 that will give 90 then 90 times and 90 plus 10 that will give 100 that is cumulative frequency so identify why do we have 50 in which group is 50 found it is here 50 is here but we have a uh, uh, 78 that is where the 50th position is and therefore the median class the median class will be this class from 60 to 69 that is where we have the median we get the median from there so now let us use this formula to calculate the median so median therefore is given by l is the lower class boundary of the median class so the median class is 60 to 69 so lower class boundary is 60 subtract 0.5 that will be sorry this is 59.5 so l represents the lower class boundary of the median class and the median class is 60 to 69 so the lower class boundary you take 60 subtract 0.5 that will give 59.5 plus n is total frequency so when you divide 100 n is 100 100 divided by 2 that will be 50 subtract cf is the cumulative frequency above the median class cumulative frequency above the median class and the cumulative frequency above the median class is 46 so the cumulative frequency of the median class is 78 so the cumulative frequency above that class is 46 divided by the frequency f is the frequency of the median class which is 32 and then i is the class size the class size of the median class so the median class is 60 to 69 so to get the class size you simply take 69.5 minus 59.5 and this will give 10 so that is how we get the median score so we work out this so we get 59.5 plus this will give 4 divided by 32 times 10 that is how we get it so this will be 59 0.5 plus this will be 40 divided by 32 so you get 60.75 60.75 as the median score part c on the grid provided represent the above data using a histogram so to draw a histogram we we'll require to plot the frequency density so you'll need on the y axis you need the frequency density you need frequency density and then on the x axis you need the upper class boundary upper class boundary the upper class boundary so the upper class boundary we identify the upper class boundary of the first class so here the upper class boundary will be 39.5 here will be 49.5 here we shall have 59.5 here we have 69.5 we have 79.5 then 89.5 then we need to have the frequency density 
the frequency density. So how do we get the frequency density? So frequency density, frequency density is obtained by we read it here. So frequency density is given by frequency divided by the class width. Frequency divided by the class width. So that is what you're going to do for all these. Don't have enough space here. So frequency is the number of students. So like the first class, 30 to 39, the frequency is 8. So to get the frequency density, you take frequency which is 8, divide by the class width. The class width is 10. To get the class width, like for the first class 30 to 39, you simply take 39.5, the upper class boundary, subtract the lower class boundary, which is 29.5. You get the class size is 10. That is what you do for all the classes. So the frequency density for the first class will be 8 divided by 10. That will be 0 0.8. That will be 0 0.8. So I'll write it here down here, 0 0.8. Now for the second class, the frequency is 10. So 10 divided by 10, that will be 1. The other one is um, 28 divided by 10, that will be 2.8. Then the other one is 32 divided by 10, that will be 3.2. 12 divided by 10, 10, 12 divided by 10 will give 1.2. Then 10 divided by 10, you get 1. So that is the frequency density for all the, the classes. So you can see the class size is uniform. So you're just taking the frequency divided by the class size. Now we need to plot now, decide on the scale that you're going to use for the um, y-axis. You can see the lowest there is uh, 0 0.8, the biggest is uh, 3.2. So we can use a scale of uh, one centimeter, or two centimeters, two centimeters which to represent one. So let me draw the axis. So use this one as there. So that will be the x-axis, then the y-axis. So begin from here, zero. And um, the x-axis is supposed to plot the lower, uh, the upper class boundary. Uh, the upper class boundary, the first one will be 39.5. So we can start a bit lower than that. So 29, let me start from the lower class boundary of that class. So 20, so here I can have 29.5, and then here I'll have 39, then here I'll have 49.5, 59.5, 5, 69.5, 79.5, and then lastly 89.5. can break this scale here, since that is the only place where the scale is not uniform. Uh, then uh, for the y-axis, you can decide to use uh, two centimeters to represent one. So this will be one, then this will be two, then this will be three, then that one will be four. So that we can have uh, one small square to represent 0 0.1. So now we can plot, can draw the bars. So the frequency density for the first class is 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So the class from 29.5 to 39.5, that is the class 29.5 to 39.5, that is uh, 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 is 0 0.8 is here. So like that. So that is the first class. Then the second, the second has a frequency density of one, that one. You use a runa to do this. Then the third one has a frequency of 2.8. 2.8. So 2.8 is to hit this point. So 2.8. That bar is there. Shade that one as well. Then the next one is 3.2. 3.2. 3.2. 3.2 is up to that point. That point. So you draw that bar. Then the next one is 1.2. 1.2 that point so shade that bar and then the last one one so those are the bars you've drawn the histogram the y-axis you have the frequency density we've been using these uh figures here so for the first class 29.5 to 39.5 the frequency density is 0 0.8 that is what you've drawn the second class 39.5 to 49.5 the frequency density is 1. The other class from 49.5 to 
the, the frequency density is 2.8. The next class 59.5 to 69.5. The frequency density is 3.2. And then the other class 69.5 to 79.5. We have the frequency density is 1.2. And lastly, uh, 79.5 to 89.5, the frequency density is 1. So that is how you draw the frequency, uh, not the frequency, the histogram. That is how you draw the histogram. So that histogram is now complete. And uh, the scores are here. This is where we have the scores. And then the frequency density is there. So the last one, use the histogram to determine the number of students who scored from 71.5 so from 71.5 to 76.5 you're determining the number of students so one thing that you realize for you to get the number of students from this histogram the number of students the number of students is given by the area when you get the area of each bar when you get the area of each bar that will give you the number of students and how do you get the area of each bar by getting the width of that bar multiplied by the frequency density and this one is given by width of the bar times the frequency density now for example uh, for us to get the width of this bar from 71.5 to 76.5 the width will be the width will be 76.5 getting the difference of the scores that will be the width then multiply by the frequency density what is the frequency density of that class where these uh, marks lie 71.5 to 76.5 uh, where does that one lie it lies on, on that class where we have 69.5 to 79.5. This is why it is, it, is, it is here. That is where the max lies 71.5 to 76.5. Then that class 69.5 to 79.5. And what is the frequency uh, density of that class? It is 1.2. 1.2 is in this class this specific class here the frequency density there is 1.2 so to get the number of students you take the width of that class then you multiply by the frequency density so do this so 76.5 subtract 71.5 and then multiply that on by 1.2 and that will give six that will give six students that is how you're supposed to solve that question